Today's show is brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook, only the top-rated sports booking app in all of North America. We love the fact that they are safe, secure, and reliable, ladies and gents. And you know promo codes are always on deck whenever we're talking about anybody, but specifically when we're talking DraftKings. All you have to do is download the app. You make that initial bet of $5. Then from there, you will receive $200 in bonus bets by simply using the promo code MOTES. It's a cool concept, baby. They got a lot of different ways for you to potentially have some earnings go your way. But we also understand that at times, man, you can get lost in the sauce. It can be a little bit much on you, and gambling problems might become a part of your life and if that is the case and you live in new york that's the number for you to text but for everybody else you just simply dial 1-800 gambler tomlin did i mean t- talk t- to t- the t- media today per he usual did, he did talk to the media coach t did have a little something to say he wanted to talk about them quarterbacks hit that like button he one time for the though. culture and subscribe if you knew he did say a little something he gave us more and more information about the process of making the hot dog. Okay? We don't <laughs> always like the ingredients, but he's given us more and more information about what goes into it. He said that rests and fills are going to be taking first team reps. This is new information, Deke. And he still hasn't even decided... How many first team reps for each of them, or who's going to get the first? That's way too specific. It's Tuesday. That's way too specific on a Tuesday. Yeah, that's way too specific on Tuesday. We got to wait this. Which I don't blame him either. Yeah, let's wait it out. Let's let me just see when I. I kind of like it from a gamesmanship standpoint, actually. Like Like, I know us as Steeler fans, Steeler people, we want an answer because the quarterback's kind of a big deal. Yeah, it is. Thousand percent. And given that we have two high profile guys, Justin Fields, Russell Wilson, Mm -hmm. it's like yeah, I I want more answers about that position sooner rather than later, but. From a uh, matchup standpoint and facing off the Jets against this week, I like Tomlin slow playing this because that makes the Jets have to prepare for both, both in a way. of them. And they both have enough differences that Absolutely. it does change how much time they don't even know what to one. do with Russ in this absolutely. new offense since he hasn't even played at all this year. Yeah, absolutely, man. But um, he, he said those things. He also talked about why. Russ is even in consideration to start this week. He didn't say he was starting. He said he's in consideration to start. He simply talked about, how, you know, he got to knock some of that rust off. But with some of that, the body of work of what he's already done does bring a certain level of comfort because you've already seen this dude do a lot of these things in stadium consistently. So, I, you know, he talked about that. But he also said that Justin Fields has still been an asset to the team. And that sometimes it's nothing that you're doing negative. It's just that he said that we have another tool or another, you know, player that has talent that we haven't seen just yet. And he wants to go through and see all of, you know, he also all talked the cable about players. Fields' legs being an X Factor. He did say that, yeah. Appreciative of his efforts mm-hmm. through these first six games. He's a player play with talent. Now what he said. The way I put it mm-hmm. is that Tomlin's basically what, what's going on in his mind is the same conversations that we're having on this podcast and that mm-hmm. Steeler fans are having amongst themselves. Yep. You could talk about the pros for Russell Wilson. You could talk about the pros for Justin Fields and the cons for each of them, and mm-hmm. it's going to be pretty much exactly what you just said right there. Yep. Russell Wilson is Russell Wilson. Justin Fields says done some good things showed off his talent left uh some things out there at times on offense but ultimately played good enough to be deserving of a shot yeah to start in week seven and going forward mm-hmm. but the question is just what could the offense look like with a russell yeah. wilson being there could it be better could it be worse yeah we don't know but russell wilson does have those accolades and the fact that he was a top five to seven quarterback for mm-hmm. a good decade and a super bowl champ all that type of stuff yeah it was funny. There's play. a lot of play. I mean, and then you could talk about the personnel around them, our O line hey, being beat up. Who's him, better though? for that? You see what he asked him? Does does Russ run as well as Phils? What would I say? No. That's his. What do you say? That's a. Uh, that's Justin Fields' superpowers. Justin Fields' uh, special trait. Yeah. He constantly shows it. So I, I do like the fact that he's honest with it all. But yeah, man, I just I like it. I like the slow play. I like it. I do. I like From the slow a competition play, bro. standpoint. Yeah. 
and keeping the Jets on their toes. Nah. But he's also given legit info, though. We have not seen Russ take any first team reps, right? At any point this season, this outs or last week was the first time we had Russ fully participate in practice and actually be available on game day. So he said that also that now we're seeing health wise, he kind of proved that he can do it. Now let's see everything else because that was part of the concern. And even when we talked about why we would have went with Phil's even heading into last week's game. Part of it was that. It was like, yo, we haven't seen Russ go through a full week of practice just yet and not pull up, you know, not being able to go. So that to me was a big thing. Now he still has to make it through this second week of practice too. Like, I know that's one of the things that we kind of just assume is going to happen, but because of how long he's been out. As long as he's not pushing the sled, I think he'll be all right. Seriously, man, just keep the sled away. But I do think that's one of the things It's just like, all right, I get the intrigue of wanting to see it. But I also like the fact that he still at least sounds like he's going to allow Justin a chance to fight it off in practice. So we'll see. How do you think it ends up, though? I think he goes with Russ. I read between the lines through some of his answers and, you know, his tone, his body language. And I think he's leaning Russ. Russ is in pole position. (laughs) I've been saying that, though, the last, like, two weeks. I feel like when Russ is fully healthy and it's time for Tomlin to finally make a decision I think he is going to pick Russ unless Fields completely closed the door yeah and I don't think Fields did that over the last two weeks I I think that's fair and it doesn't mean that Fields hasn't played well but I think that when you do leave the door open and it is this outlier situation where it's Russell Wilson as the backup there's going to be natural intrigue and it's Tomlin making the decision, too. It, it might be, uh, if we had a different coach, they'd be leaning more fields than Russ right. for various reasons. But yeah. just knowing who Tomlin is and how uh, he feels mindset, about Russ, yeah. how, you know, how he thinks he about Russ being... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the, having the, ben, the veteran The big stuff. Bens, the Rodgers of the world. The, he loves that He named type Russ of dude. the starter already yeah. going into week one, <clears> and that's with Russ, mm-hmm. I don't know, being out there for like half of training camp and... yeah. A little bit, uh, two of the three pieces. And, and has stood on it after every performance, too. Has not changed that depth chart. Hasn't changed the depth chart. Mm. Knowing knowing that that was going to always be a question each and every week. It was like, oh. But I don't blame him for that, though, either. I think switching up the depth chart two, three games into the season. But I think if you really. Would, be- <laughs> had some unnecessary drama. But I think if you really were saying, yo, Justin Phillips has done that much that I feel like he's my guy. Where's the drama at? Yeah, but. Think think of the times he was asked about switching the depth chart. It was earlier on in this process. I think it would just be how, how long did he? T- I wish we could go do. back and remember how long it took for him to switch Kenny Pickett. Because remember, Mitch was the starter, the captain. Well, he just benched Mitch week week three. No, that's fair. But I'm saying, when did he switch week it though? Four, on the depth chart. You see what I mean? Like, how I think soon it was did right he switch after. it? Yeah. It had to have been right. That's what I'm saying. So it didn't even take an actual performance of you balling. It was just yo, I'm switching them all. You the guy now. So you mean to tell me Justin Fields is doing these good things that we were talking about three weeks into the season, undefeated, and we were all saying that, yo, Fields looks good? And he still wouldn't even budge. Well, That's Russ wasn't saying, fully healthy just yet either, so Tomlin was playing both sides. Yeah. I think it was smart of him, too. Hey, man, this is what Coach T do, man. This is what he do? Yeah, I think he's going to go with Russ. I do. Yeah. And, hey, I get it. I mean, the it's only one or two things that's going to happen. He's either going to play well – and it's going to validate the decision, or he's going to not play well, and then it's going to be even more questions going the next week. Do you stick? I think well we win games with either guy. Bad? I do too. Man, I would just like to see the potential fields uh, develop. That's yeah. I think that's my thing, and especially with us being able to win mm-hmm. games with him playing as is right now. Yeah, I mean to an extent, that's, that's the argument good. for him. Uh, yeah. The argument for us is it's Russell Wilson. My thing is this, to an extent, we've already seen six weeks more than what would have been expected to see of Justin Fields. Up until this point, the mindset even this offseason was Russ is the guy, Russ is healthy, Russ at least for until the bye. Or if it goes perfect, Russ takes it to the playoffs, does what he does, and then we turn it over to Fields. We've had a chance to see Fields the first six games. We've got a chance to see him out the gate. What does it look like if you're the leader? What does it look like if he's this is good. just you? I, he's impressed me. One of the other things that Coach Tomlin also said was 
because he was very complimentary of Justin Fields. He said, do not confuse good with great. And he I said, agree with that, too. It is a very competitive league, and we're chasing that. So I agree. I get the support for Fields. You know, I feel very similar. But at the same time, it hasn't been this, like, just perfect tier performance. And I think that that's also part of why he's intrigued with, let me see what Russ can do. No, it's 100% right. Yeah. That's why the door is open. I just wonder, could this offense become great if we give Fields another six weeks? More chances at it. Some people would look at it and say, how many chances does he need? Others are going to look at it like well, how you're us, saying. With, and saying with hey, us yeah, give us more opportunities. With, yeah. with us continuing to win, it, it's not like mm-hmm. hurting you. you know. That's fair. People would also look at that and say quality of opponent because this approach didn't work versus Dallas. And versus a Colts team that we don't think is even better than Dallas, but just was playing good at the time. We saw how we even struggled with them. So that's going to be part of how people look at that and still feel some, what do they call it? Just lack of comfort with the style of it. Hey, I, I would have been intrigued by it. Well, I guess the decision isn't made, but I, yeah, it's I not, think it's it not is. Made, yeah, yeah. I've predicted the, who the quarterback's going to be, I think, every week this season, based off what Tomlin's answers were on Tuesdays. So I'm going to take another stab at it here and say it's going to be Russell Wilson for week seven. Let's see if I go seven for seven. Because even last week, when you Russell caught, yeah. was at his uh-huh. fullest health, was going to be a mm-hmm. uh, full participant in practice, the way Tomlin was answering yeah. the questions, I said, whenever we came in here Tuesday, it's going to be Fields. Yeah. I predicted that. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's saying much, but... You getting it right, though? Yeah. I'm predicting Russ this week. Yeah. And this is the thing, too. Like, I know the way that I'm sure people are going to try to spin it is, like, once this decision is made, it's final and it can never well, change. But no, because like, Tomlin, uh, yeah. Tomlin said it's week by week, essentially. That's, like, literally, that's... Now, he might be lying, but... I don't think he is. And I think we talked about that some yesterday. Like, I don't see why this has to be a end-all, be-all. Russ come out here and doesn't play well. It's like, all right, you might want to see him for two weeks. But then after that, it's like, all right, bro, you struggling, struggling. Let's, hey, man, let's swap this thing back out. Feels this the bye week. Let's get it in order and let's go. I don't think it has to be one or the other just yet. But hopefully it becomes one or the other by somebody actually elevating their play to the point where there is no more conversation. That's what you want That's what late you want. December right. going into January. That's what Absolutely. you want. It you don't doesn't want any matter. questions at quarterback. Right. I don't care if it's Fields or Russ. You want one of those guys to elevate and separate. All we saying is Fields had the first six weeks to kind of do that without any distraction. Now, after six weeks, we don't feel like it's been this clear cut. He's elevated and separated. So now that this other guy is healthy with his resume, yeah, he is going to get this opportunity or it's a high probability that he would get the opportunity because why wouldn't you if you're trying to do your due diligence for that position and see who gives you the absolute best opportunity to win a Super Bowl? You're going to look at that the same way we look at all these other positions, the same way we talk about these wide receivers, these old linemen. You look at quarterback the same and say, hey, bro, if you're not getting it done, we got to find somebody that can or if you are getting it done, but we think we can get more from it. Well, let's entertain that. Let's see what that looks like. But one way or the other, one of these guys are going to have to step up and take it and just make it clear cut. That, hey, yo, it's my job. I think Tomlin loves the idea of going into battle this week, Sunday Night Football. With the veteran. Yeah. With Russ with the going up against the Rodgers. Stages. Yeah. I could see him just like buying into that. Just Why are you so comfortable with Ben versus other quarterbacks? Oh, he's a legend. No, no, no. But what makes him a legend? He's great. No, no, no. What makes him great, though? I mean. Talk know. about the moments, right? Well, yeah. I mean. Prime time, big game after big game, consistency, right? Didn't matter who he was playing against. He was going to show up every single time, right? Hurt, didn't matter, right? Odds against him, didn't matter, right? Year after year. After a year, after a year, it didn't matter, oh, right? That's Ben. Is Russ not in that same vein? Is Russ He's not, not Ben, but league wide, is Russ not viewed and talked about in similar conversations? He's when we ben. say Hall of Famers, Russ is talked about in a very similar manner. He's not Ben. 
You could call it how you want to call it. Russ is a future Hall of Famer. I agree with that. Phil's right now is not. The reason why you love Seven is that you've seen him constantly put it on in these big moments over and over and over to the point that it's second nature to you. You don't even fear or even think that it can't work out. And when they look at Russ, they see similar things well, because his that. resume is very similar. But the problem with Russ right now is the last two years in Denver, and that's why and that's he's fair. in the spot yeah. that he that's is. That's definitely fine. Because yeah. it obviously hasn't been good for him. But yeah. he's, he still has that stuff in him. I think so. And that's, and that's why I said going that's back to week I one, I think you roll with Russ as the starter. Mm-hmm. Like I, that Russell Wilson's Russell Wilson. Like yeah. I, that's what I value about him. Like we we know what he's done, what he's capable of. That extra cachet that he yeah. brings to the table. There's no doubt about that. So I get it. I get it. If we're gonna go with him, trust me, we can win games with him. We can win games with Fields, and we can. obviously we've seen we can win games Four with Fields. So far, yeah, and that wasn't a guarantee. I thought going into this season. Yeah. Four and two with Fields could easily have been five and one, six and zero. Oh. Yeah. And we should be able to gain, win games with Russ. We should. And I don't. And here's the thing too about I, I. We talked about this yesterday. Like, I don't think this has to be this walking on eggshells type of decision, and you got to worry about hurting Fields' feelings or anything. Like, I, I think agree. he would even get it. Let's see what Russ does, and if yeah. and if he. Doesn't play good. The offense doesn't look good for a few weeks. Whatever you can go back to fields because I don't think he's going to mm-hmm. go in the tank. He he understands it's a business. I I think he's a great teammate. Seems like he's a good professional too. The scenario that he had in Chicago, like mm-hmm. I don't think anything surprises him at agree. this point. I think he can yeah. stay pretty level headed through it all. And I think Coach T is still very supportive. And I think the team is still very supportive of Justin Fields though. And that's the part where the situation is just unique. Because it's not like Fields is playing bad. It's just the intrigue of what that could be. Yeah, because I think that's we all it is, do man. have to yeah. look at going on the road against the Kansas City in the playoffs. Going through the AFC North gauntlet at the end of this season. Yeah. You, you have to look at that. And then you, yeah, you got to ask yourself, yeah. all right, who's going to give us the best chance? One guy you've seen do it countless times. Whereas the other guy the jury's still out in terms of can he do it this year so he's far showing so good off, so far right. so good right, right. but exactly. we would all agree that september football is nowhere near november december and definitely not january football i think that that's just kind of where we are right now not saying that Phils can't do that and i think that at some point i would love for him to get the opportunity to show that he can yeah but at the same time just with this scenario that's the part that makes it different because usually there's a Russell Wilson involved in it. Usually it's some just dude that we kind of just like, all right, you cool, but you're not in the convo like that. Yeah, it is <laughs> a very uh, unique situation yeah. too because there's other times where like the 49ers when they had Alex Smith and Colin mm-hmm. Kaepernick, they already knew what Alex Smith yeah. was with the Niners. Mm-hmm. We still don't know yet what Russell Wilson is with the Steelers because he hasn't. Yeah played with us at all like because alex smith and russell wilson are the comparables in those yeah. situations like the older veteran guy mm-hmm. we still haven't seen russell wilson maybe it's a different story if russ and fields were on the roster last year we got yeah. to see a full season of russell wilson and we were like ah, it was okay maybe it could be better next year and fields played like this maybe you just stick with fields because you already know what right. russell wilson is here we still don't know what russell wilson is Look, here. i was about to say because i think the only thing that was might be close is the alex smith uh mahomes scenario but they still saw Mahomes that that last game just in terms of like the young quarterback, old veteran dude, not knowing what you can oh, do. Oh, did he play on. the last game of the season? Yeah, he got season? the last game. I don't game. remember that. Yeah, okay. they gave him that last game of the season. Yeah. And then after that, that's when they moved on from Alex Smith. He went to Washington. Yeah. Good decision. Yeah, excellent decision, bro. And that was after he had them in the division round hosting when we beat him that year. That was that following year where they made that move. Yeah. Yeah. And Russell Wilson, I mean, he's better than Alex Smith. Yeah. But we still haven't seen him with the Steelers last two years with the Broncos. Yeah, I'm not with you good, on all that, bro. I'm with you on all that. Was it not a good fit though with the Broncos? Like, there's, there's just there's a, some questions, there's a lot bro. of there are questions, man. Pieces to this equation you could definitely are. talk about for however long you want to. Definitely, I think Tomlin's going with Russ though. Bottom line, 